the false card you have for your past is the Page of Pentacles. So, yeah, I'm seeing newness, young, uh, spring, all of these kind of things in this card. Springtime, starting over. Um, and I think there might have been a message coming from someone, someone wanting you to start things up again, maybe. Um, I think this could have been a subtle message or there could have been more than one message. I think, um, yeah, this is very, very subtle, very subtle. You might not have even realised that this is what they were kind of doing, trying to get close to you. Uh, maybe it was something tiny, like a little like on social media post, or maybe they asked after you, or maybe they asked... Um, they might have just asked someone to say hello to you, like, oh, can you say hello to so-and-so for me? Might have been like that. Very tiny, something very, very small, lots of, or might have been more than one message, but little message. Um, this page is looking up um, to uh, this beautiful golden coin, and um, he wants what it represents. He wants stability and security, but he isn't sure whether he can actually achieve this. And you know, the pages are quite, they're students. They don't know how to do things. They're still learning how to do things. So this person might be trying, or they might've been at this time trying to sort out how they can come close to you. They might've started off small like that. And gradually they're probably going to start ramping up the communication. It's going to be uh, maybe DMs or maybe a text or maybe a little thing like that. And then it's going to turn into talking. And then it's good. So that's what they're trying trying to do. They're still a little, little bit unsure, they're a little bit afraid, they're a little bit scared of this, but that's what they want with you. And yeah, I think this person um, wanted this stability with you. They were looking uh, to this eventually happening with you, not at this time, they're only starting off small and they were working their way up to that. But you know, um, their mind was definitely on you. Their mind was on you. Their mind was on this goal of uh, getting close to you. That's what I'm seeing, whoever this was. And you might know who this is. I keep on seeing, because I was seeing um, starting over again. I wasn't seeing starting starting a new thing. Uh, quite often the page is about uh, someone completely new, if this is about love. But I don't think this is. I think this is starting again. So I, I get a feeling that you might already know who this is. The next card you have your past is the Hierophant. So, yeah, I don't think you were totally closed off to this person. Obviously, you were receiving these little messages from them. But uh, I think they probably saw, or maybe they just imagined, it might have been in their head, that there were some barriers or some obstacles in between you and them. They might have seen some ob obstacles. They might... Um, you know, I think if they saw obstacles and they saw these things and they knew you and they were uh, looking at you on social media or uh, messaging you or whatever, or you had mutual friends to say hello to between you, then yeah, this is obviously someone you already knew. So I'm seeing that again there. And there are a pair of crossed keys at the feet of this Hierophant. So I think they felt that something needed to be unlocked or before they were able to connect with you properly it was like they felt that they had to kind of work out how they can do this find the answer to a puzzle to kind of get close to you which is similar to what i was seeing in the page of pentacles he's kind of looking up and working out how he's going to go about doing this the other thing I'm seeing in this card is that you might have been moving away, maybe mentally or maybe physically, moving away or closing yourself off from uh, one main voice and some voices around this main voice. So it might have been one person and some people around this main person, if that makes sense. Kind of dismissive of what you wanted, but kind of pushing what they wanted onto you. They might have even been a bit um, dismissive of you, maybe even a bit sneering of you, which is really horrible if that's what they're doing. Kind of like, I'm more important than you. I know better than you. It's that. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting around this. And this is one main person, again, I'm seeing, and a group around them. So, yeah, I'm clearly seeing that... Uh, yeah, I'm clearly seeing that there are a lot of people. Um, yeah, one, yeah, one main person and people around them. Either the people around them are either kind of um, joining in, or they're not stopping them, which is just the same thing. 
If people around someone knows that they're doing something wrong or they're kind of low-key bullying someone or saying something or forcing someone and they don't say anything, that's the same as joining into me or almost the same, almost as bad because people should step in and do something and say something. They should, really should stand up for the person who's being pushed around. That's what I'm seeing. But these people weren't doing that. And I think the main person thought that they had some kind of authority over you. And maybe these other people were a bit afraid of them as well, um, which is usually what happens with bullies. Um, so they stand around in a circle and they don't do anything because they don't want to be the one who's bullied themselves. And again, I'm not seeing this as big bully or whatever, but it is someone who thought that they were more important than you and someone who thought that they could tell you what to do. So when I look at this Hierophant, he has his ears covered. So this is telling me that at this time you just decided, right, I've had a whole year of this last year. I, I might have had a lifetime of this. Now I'm not going to listen to these people ever again. I'm going to listen to myself. I'm closing my ears from them. I'm listening to what's inside of myself. That's what the Hierophant does. He listens to his inner self. He listens to his spiritual self. He doesn't listen to the outside world, which is full of kind of, it's it, there are good things in the world. But according to the Hierophant, I would say there's kind of corruption in the world, bad things in the world, all of that kind of thing. And he's not interested in that. He's interested in spirituality, positivity, all of that kind of thing. And I'm really happy to see this shift. And I'm getting the feeling that this was also a kind of a spiritual shift. So it might have been that you had spiritual ideas that were very different from all of these people. And I'm seeing they could be family. Um, and you might have differed a lot from them and they might have said, come on, don't be like that. Come back to this. Be like us. Be like us. And you were like, oh, a part of me feels loyal to them, but the other part of me does not want to be like them. And so I think for a while you were around them and you hadn't broken off because there was some kind of loyalty. But then at this time you broke away from that. That's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have your past is the Seven of Swords. Yes. Yes, this horrible person. So whoever sneers at you and tries to tell you what to do at the same time or is horrible to you and they think you should do what they say, they clearly are not someone who should even be around you. You should not be talking to this person. You shouldn't even be anywhere near them, let alone following their advice. And I think you knew that. I think you knew that. It was just some kind of loyalty you had to this group of people. And again, I'm seeing this could be family. So... I think any advice these people had for you were kind of things that would um, give them some sort of advantage over you, uh, some sort of practical advantage or psychological advantage or something like that. Psychological, I can speak properly. Um, but yeah, you knew that you did not want to be around this kind of thing. I think this year is really going to be the year of using your strength against these kinds of people. That doesn't mean you're going to be vocal about it. You won't be yelling, you won't be screaming or anything like that. It's not in your nature to be like that. But you'll be on your side. You'll be on your track. You'll be listening to yourself. You won't be on anyone else's side. You won't be listening to anyone else unless you see that they are someone who you should listen to. Um, you're especially not going to listen to anyone like this or their sidekicks. Um, because I was seeing quite a quite a few people around this person and I think you're just shifting right away from all of them you're just moving right away so the first card you have for your present is the page of cups so I'm seeing this what I'm seeing again is this kind of page of pentacles I'm seeing messages these little messages another message again so you're definitely getting these little subtle messages from someone this is someone who's yeah, this is someone who's interested in you romantically. Obviously, this is an emotional card. And um, yeah, pages mean messages. But pages, again, pages are also teenagers. I'm seeing that again in this card. So whoever this is, uh, they're just not coming out and saying anything directly to you. They're not asking you out. They're not saying anything up front to you. It's a little bit like... I'm not saying this person's like this, but it just reminds me of, you know, when teenagers have a crush on someone, they might sit around thinking about them all day. They might write their name in a notebook. They might draw hearts around their name or something like that. But they might be a little bit too emotionally immature to actually do anything about it. They might even feel a bit afraid about having a real relationship. 
Um, so it's comforting to them to kind of imagine having one, but they're not quite mature enough to actually have a proper relationship. Now, I'm not saying this person's immature, they can't have a relationship, that's not what I'm saying. But what I am seeing is that they're dreaming about coming close to you, but there's a little bit of fear. They're not quite ready for some reason. They don't want to have a full on thing yet. Then they don't feel emotionally or, um, or mentally ready for that yet. Now that might be because of an experience they've had in the past. It might be because you already know them because I'm seeing the page of pentacles that this is someone who you might know. Um, and they might be a little bit nervous. It might just be that they're shy, I don't know. But this is what I'm seeing in this. They are trying to get your attention in these little ways, but I think if they are going to contact you, which I think they probably will at some time, uh, it will take some time for this to happen. So don't expect this person to contact you right away. Uh, they're going to have to build up to this. That's what I'm seeing, because they, they do have some nervous, nervousness or some worries about this. The next card you have for your present is the Hermit. So, yeah, you might be feeling a bit alone for a while. I'm not seeing you being physically alone or lonely, but you're definitely distancing yourself, obviously, from this horrible person and people around them in the Seven of Swords. Um, but again, I'm just looking at this again. I think they had a lot of people around them and these people were sort of enabling this nasty person. They were kind of, they weren't challenging them. I'm, I keep on seeing that and that's coming up again. So... I think even though these people were hurting you, when you don't have them in your life, there still is a gap there. And it's a bit, it's not sad, but it's kind of a bit of a strange feeling. It's as if, it, you know, it's a bit like when you have a piece of furniture in your house for years and years and years in the same place, and then suddenly you have it moved away or someone takes it away and it's gone. And it's like you come down and there's a gap there. And you're like, oh, I kind of miss that thing. It's a little bit like that. Um, I'm not saying they're a piece of furniture, but, um, you know, you feel something missing that used to be there and it's not there. And it's also a little bit like, you know, when you talk to someone every day or whatever, and then uh, they can't talk to you or they're away or something, there's some reason or their phone's broken and you feel like, oh, I miss talking to them. It's that kind of thing. So that doesn't mean that you miss those people. It just means that you've been in the habit of speaking to them or being around them. And now that you're not... Um, it, there's something just feels like it's missing. But you know, you're better off, you know you are, you know that you're better off, you're following your own way, you're following your own path. Like this hermit is on this path, he's by himself following his own path. And I don't think you were following what they were saying and what they were doing, but there was a little bit of you that kind of felt that out of loyalty, you had to at least be around them or listen to them, but that's all gone now. Um, you're kind of, you're moving on again, you're moving on from all of that. So the last card you have here present is the King of Pentacles. So yeah, again, by following your own path, which is what you're doing, it's going to gradually bring you a lot more stability because you weren't feeling stable. You weren't feeling safe around these people. It was like you had a sense of duty to be around them. You had a kind of an obligation to be around these people. And again, I'm seeing these could be family. So that might be why you're feeling like that. Um, but once that's taken away from you and the further you get away from them, the more stable in yourself you're going to feel. And I think you're going to realise that they were kind of stopping you from getting that stability. And they really were draining you. And I think the more you're away from them again, the more you're going to realise that. So, and the other thing is I don't normally see, oh, I don't, I do see signs, but I don't normally say them because sometimes I see a lot of different signs at the same time. It can be very confusing. And sometimes I can see lots of random signs. And if I say, well, it's this sign and that sign and the other one, I may as well say everyone or nothing. But I am seeing that either this main person or some people or one of the people around this person might have been a Taurus because this king has his foot on top of a, a bull. So it's a little bit hard to see. So I'll move that up so you can see. Also, it's it's a bit obscured, but he has his foot on top of a bull. Um, yeah, it's not an easy card to look at because there's a lot going on, but that is a bull that he has his foot on. Um, so it's not like you have your foot on this person's head now, even though as an Aries, I would like to put my foot on their head because they sound like a horrible person. 
but it's not in your nature to be like that. But what that means is you are now rising above that person. You're rising above their behavior. You're rising up and away, up in the clouds, getting far and far away from that person. You don't have any sense of loyalty. You don't have anything like that to them. You're away from them now. You're rising above them. The other thing I'm seeing in this card is that I'm seeing a money manifestation. I think you're trying to, I am seeing that you you might be trying to get some kind of set amount of money by a certain deadline or something like that. So it might be something like you're trying to earn this in this time or you're trying to save this in this time. It's something like that. Now, if you have this card, if you have the King of Pentacles, obviously a money manifestation is definitely possible for you, more than possible. Um, sorry, I just touched my nose. Um, so, yeah, but you might have to be a little bit more flexible around this, around the timing of this. I think this is a very slow and steady card and you might be thinking or you might be imagining uh, that you'll get this a lot sooner than you actually will. I don't mean to disappoint you, but it is going to come in, but it might come in a little bit later. So you might have to change the deadline. You might have to be a bit flexible around this deadline. You know, keep working at this. You're just going to have to be a little bit more patient um, to wait for it to come in. I mean, the King of Pentacles is very patient. He works hard. He works slowly. He works carefully. He's very conservative. He doesn't try to do anything quickly. He's not in to get rich quick or anything like that. I'm not saying that's what you're doing, but he's extremely patient. He doesn't rush anything. But don't lose your patience. Don't give up. It is going to come in. You have the King of Pentacles, so this is going to come in. So the first card you have for your future is the King of Wands. So yeah, again, this card might be advising you to slow down on this money manifestation. I know this isn't what you want to hear. I know when you're wanting money, money to come in, when you're waiting for money, you'd love it to come in right now. But, um, you know, this king's kind of holding this wand in his hand. He, it's like a walking stick. He wants to get up and go. He wants to do this, but he isn't doing that. He's kind of sitting back and thinking fast. So if this is resonating, you might want to rethink a few things. First of all, you might want to rethink the deadline, which is what I've seen in the King of Pentacles. And also, I think you might want to rethink how you're going to go about getting this money manifestation. I think there might be a method that you're thinking of using or you might be using uh, to go about this earning this. Uh, you might have to think about either changing the method or changing something about it. Might be some people around it or something. I hope this makes some kind of sense to you. Um, it might sound a bit confusing, but um, yeah, you might have to change something around this. Sit back and think about how you're doing this, what you're doing, change something in this. Um, and also, I don't want to make you feel paranoid or anything like that, but um, maybe look closely at the people around this method or this earning or whatever this is. It might be something like you're in a regular job and you're trying to do extra work to get this money, put this money aside. Uh, or it might be a business idea, it might be something else that you're working on. Something isn't quite right about this. Someone isn't quite right about this. So um, I think take your emotions out of this. Try to do that and look at things objectively. It might be something like you're in a business with a friend or a relative and maybe deep down you know that they're not the right person to be in this with you. It's not the right thing. It doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right. And I think once you work out what that is and change that, whatever it is, then that manifestation will start to come in a lot quicker for you. The next card you have for your future is the Nine of Pentacles. So, yeah, so much of this reading is about being on your own, money come in, coming in slowly. Um, I'm seeing that and I'm feeling that everywhere as well. Um, and you're actually going to be quite content to be by yourself for a while. I think there might be people um, around you who don't understand that. They might be trying to ask you to do this, go to that, whatever. Um, you know, some people can't, <clears throat> excuse me, some people can't bear to be on their own. And that's fine if they want to be around people, but not everyone's like that. And I think that you might be one of these people who like your space. And I think your space and time to yourself gives you energy gives you that feeling of freedom. You like having that space. You like being able to think. And um, you need it as well. You're one of these people who need your space. Not all the time, but sometimes. I think what when you're around a lot of people, 
after a while you kind of need to be by yourself to recharge your batteries that's what i'm seeing um you know this is a beautiful reading and it's also good for you spiritually to get this time by yourself you know you have the hermit in this reading as well so there are a lot of spiritual changes happening around you in this reading i'm seeing it in the hierophant moving away from some old ideas they might be spiritual ideas the hermit and this nine of pentacles where you're content to be by yourself and um yeah this is a really nice uh, peaceful reading some people think it's boring to be by yourself or a waste of time to kind of sit and think by yourself but quite often this is when you know the most important things come into your mind so treasure this time make the most of this time to yourself the last card you have for your future is the ace of cups so yeah you're going to be finding a lot of peace this is a beautiful drama free reading really because you know, what i'm seeing in this whole reading is you're deliberately moving away from this drama away from these difficult people who you don't need to have around you and you're kind of coming out of this you're coming into this realization that you don't need them around you and um, i know i'm sounding repetitive but i'm seeing a similar thing all over this reading all the time finding peace with this beautiful dove in this card working your way through the spiritual growth with these kind of water lilies at the bottom of the card representing growth and i don't know if this is something that you do but this is the perfect time for you to meditate if you like doing that or just research some kind of spiritual information uh, that you feel personally led to and uh, i think this is when you're really going to be open and receptive to learning and growing spiritually and also you're going to have these old people out of your head and out of your mind and you're just going to be able to sit back, drink up this piece, take it all in, lie back and let these really good positive things come to you. And again, that's when you're going to start to manifest things as well. When you're at peace, when you're relaxed, when you just let things come in. This is a really beautiful reading. 